Roger here. We got a short video for you uh, just on some of the doodads I've built from a baler. Baler mounted moisture meter, homemade hay preservative applicator, video system on it, things like that. Take you along with me there. You can see the camera and the moisture meter, and the moisture meter is reading it as we go, bouncing right along. Uh, let's head to the field though, and then I'll show you kind of each thing in operation and we'll make future videos detailing each one of those very specifically and show you how to build them. First thing, you need a good consistent windrow to keep that baler full so you can make a consistent bale. You need to know about how much hay you're putting through that baler when you're doing hay preservative because you're putting on so much bale. Uh, so I got all my stuff. I had to build me a mount for the tractor because daggum newfangled tractors, round fenders, uh, and fiberglass, there ain't nothing to stick magnets to, and I use a couple different tractors. You want to see a bale coming through that camera about every 14 strokes. Uh, 12 to 16 is what I like doing. I'll upshift and downshift to keep that going. Keep eye on my, uh, I slowed it down for you, but keep an eye on my moisture meter. We're going around the edge of a field right here, so, uh, but man, that sucker eats some hay. So she comes in there, of course. Uh, but anyhow, I just love watching that baler eat hay nice and real time. Here it comes out. There's the pad from a moisture meter, baler amount of moisture meter. There's my camera. I can check strings with it if I'm having problems with an otter. That's a tube that my camera cord runs up to for uh, a camera on my accumulator so I can watch if I'm having any trouble with it. And like I say, there's... We're out in the middle of the field now, and you can see that. And I've got that slowed down for you. Uh, moisture was changing. And there's the camera. Like I say, you can, you can watch that. <clears throat> if you want to turn your head around, you can watch that. But you want to watch that come by that camera every... I count the strokes on my bail. want that coming out. Ah. There you go. I can see her coming through my camera. I don't have to turn my neck around and, and watch it. Uh, you just makes makes life easy. Uh, it's off to the right side of my tractor, so I'm watching the windrows. That moisture meter's homemade. Uh, that part's bought in. That's about $32 from that place there in the big rainforest somewhere. Brown Santa brings you stuff to your doorstep from. Uh, We'll make another video on that probably tomorrow detailing that whole system and how I built that. Uh, save you four or six hundred dollars, three or five, something like that. There's my, uh, we're running hay close to the edge, so there's the moisture meter working. You can see it spraying out. You can see my little gauge and you can see my little light lit up. I'll make a video of that in detail tomorrow too. Uh, and we'll get them all posted and put in a playlist for you guys. Uh, surely you guys can tell by now I'm just trying to narrate this and by the seat of my pants. And I can't remember everything I put in this video. But that's real time. That old New Holland 276 baler just eating it up. I give $700 for that baler. Uh, had to go through all the knotters uh, and get them all straightened up. It wouldn't tie for shucks. Uh, put all new bearings in the... Put, it, put new bearings in it in the plunger and kind of rebuilt the old baler uh, is a dandy uh, running the Coons 1036F uh, accumulator I was running a parish before that's the kind that drags behind you kind of like an accumulate this one seems to do a better job for me I enjoy it uh, it's, it sped me up a little bit uh, on my operation I'll do, oh, about 5,000 bale a year. And, I, and when I say I do it by myself, but my wife will take me from field to field. Um, but I haul it in, sell it out of the field. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll put up some more videos. This here was a little too serious. I have fun. I have a whole lot more fun than some of my other videos. I'll put a couple of them up here for you to click on. And I'll put this in here in a playlist with all the other uh jazz going on.